Unfortunately, almost a third of all Americans have less than $1,000 saved anywhere. Between their emergency fund, retirement funding, anything, they've got less than $1,000. So they're really living month to month. And according to Fidelity, almost 80% of people with a 401k have a balance of under $5,000. In fact, let's go for a walk and we'll talk about this. According to a recent, a recent report shared by Fidelity, the average person with a 401k balance uh, has just under $200,000 saved, $195,500. And if you look at the median, right, because the average gets skewed, if you have somebody with $10 million in their uh, 401k, that's gonna skew things. The median is half the people have more half the people have less. The median is quite a bit lower. The median person has just over $60,000, $61,500. And the question is, you know, how much should you have uh, in your retirement account? And, and Fidelity puts out a report on this too and, and gives a recommendation. This is not my recommendation. I'm just sharing with you what, what other experts have said. And my videos are really for educational content. I want to give you some information to pique your curiosity to say, oh, this is, should be on my radar screen. And then you do the research or even better, I think, hire a fee-only financial advisor to help you. Particularly with this question, how much should you have for retirement? That's a complicated question, but Fidelity would say, by the time you're 60, you should have about eight times um, what, your, what your salary, your annual salary is uh, in order to have a comfortable retirement with the goal of that increasing to 10 times uh, your annual salary by the time you retire and, and they use 65 as that. And so the question is, you know, is that enough? And before I go there, if you enjoy my videos, if you're enjoying this video, do me a favor, hit the like button. It really does help the YouTube algorithm find other uh, people that my videos can help. Also think about subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet. And finally, leave me a comment. I love reading your comments. It's kind of my currency uh, for doing the videos. Okay, so the question of, is this enough? You know, is 10 times your annual salary enough? Again, it's a complicated question. Um, the, the kind of benchmark rule of thumb is, is uh, uh, a benchmark, a framework that was developed by a gentleman by the name of William Bengen back in 1995. Uh, and it's famously called the 4% rule because Bengen's study said, you have a very low likelihood of running out of money, which is what we're all worried about. If, if you just take out uh, 4% a year, called the sustainable withdrawal rate. It's not a static 4%. You take that initial 4% and then you inflate that, you increase that with inflation each year. Uh, you can find out a lot more just by Googling uh, the term 4% rule. And if you wanna put in Bengen's last name, B-E-N-G-E-N. -E but what I wanna share about Bengen's rule, right? I've been a financial advisor for over 20 years and you know, uh, run many dozens, hundreds of these Monte Carlo simulations, which is what Bengen based his study on, uh, which is basically simulating different stock market returns. What you're really worried about is what's called sequence of return risk. You're worried about getting several years of bad market returns early in your retirement. That, that can really be devastating. Uh, for you because that's when you've got likely have close to the largest balance so it has a big impact so Bengen's work ran all of these statistical models and said okay let's pretend that we had a thousand different retirees or a thousand different lives um, and we randomized the actual real market returns over the last hundred years and we pull out one of those um, and so he did a thousand lives and the four percent rule is based on 97% of those cases where people do not run out of money. So, you know, that's a very, very high um, level of security, right? I think for a lot of people, if you said, hey, you have a 90% chance of not running out of money, you know, people want certainty with financial planning. And I wish as a financial advisor, I could offer people certainty, but what we can do is offer clarity. And so the difference between telling somebody you have a 97% likelihood or a 90% likelihood, I would argue, you know, there's so many things that we don't know. There's so many factors out of our control. Um, 
you know, is there really a difference between those two? Yes, there is. But is there really, you know, do you know what your health is going to be? Uh, if you're married, do you know for sure you're not going to get divorced sometime in your lifetime? Um, you know, back 30, 40 years ago, the divorce rate for people 65 plus was 10%. Um, and, and, and that number has climbed. I believe it's one in four or one in five now. It's, it's pretty high. Uh, so there's so many, and divorce is gonna have a significant impact on what your financial uh, future looks like. So, you know, if you take anything away from this video, it's not the title, it's not the subject of it, but you know, keep your relationship strong. Keep your relationship strong for many reasons. Uh, just quality of life and, um, you know, just make your life easy. Have fun. I shouldn't say it that way. I don't mean to be prescriptive. I'm not telling you what to do, but uh, it's worth putting in the time and effort uh, to keep your relationship strong. I'll leave it at that. Uh, this video is about do you have enough to do you have enough to retire uh, and, and the average retirement savings. So let me get back on topic. Uh, so the four percent rule I think is extremely conservative. There's another gentleman by the name of Guyton, G-U-Y-T-O-N. I believe his first name's Jonathan, J-O-N. Uh, and, and Jonathan Guyton looked at it and said, you know, in the real world, people don't give themselves quote unquote raises uh, every year for inflation when the market's down. You know, when the market's down, we all feel a little bit more conservative and we're more likely to say, you know what, I'm gonna cut back next year. I don't, I don't wanna take more money out next year because of inflation. Um, and so if you model that in, and a couple other things, Guyton would say, you know, you can, that sustainable withdrawal rate, again, that's another term you can Google, or again, better yet, work with a fee-only financial advisor. And I keep saying fee-only because they have a fiduciary obligation to you like a doctor, like an attorney would, to put your interests ahead of your own, ahead of their own, uh, they're not gonna try to sell you something. And I think you want somebody smart that's working for you. But Guyton would say that that sustainable withdrawal rate is closer to 4%, I'm sorry, closer to 6% instead of 4%. And that's a big difference, right? That's a 50% increase in the amount of cash flow that you can take out of, the, out of your account. Now, which number's right? Should you take 4%? Can you take 6%? Can you take a little bit more? That is a question for a fee-only financial advisor. That's not a question uh, that you're gonna be able to get um, an answer to. Um, you're gonna be able to get an answer to uh, here on a YouTube video. But, you know, just high level, what I would say is, you know, Fidelity's having 10 times retire, uh, your annual income. That's a hard, hard goal for many people to get to. If you're feeling burnt out, if you feel like you wanna retire, Maybe you're close. Maybe you know you work with an advisor and they say, well, you have an 80% likelihood of not running out of money. You know, to get three, five, seven more years of freedom, you might want to think about doing that. And you know, we're humans, we're adaptable. If you find you are unlucky and you get you don't get good returns the first couple of years of your retirement, well, maybe you take a side job uh, and you bring in extra income or, um, let's say you're renting and you're paying $3,000 in rent uh, for, for where you're living. Maybe uh, you, know, you downsize and you start paying $2,500 or whatever it is. The point is that we're, we're adaptable as humans. So is there a right answer? I don't think there is, but you can get clarity by working with a fee-only financial advisor. You can also get clarity on a couple important retirement um, topics by watching these two of my most popular videos. The first one here, it talks about the average income in retirement, average retiree income in retirement, and down here, five reasons to retire as soon as you can. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.